The Tesla Cybertruck continues to break the internet since it was unveiled in California. Los Angeles, November 2019. The skies are polluted. The world is addicted to oil. But we're here to offer a solution. The Cybertruck. Regardless of whether people are interested in buying a new truck or even interested in cars at all, everybody has an opinion on the insane design of this truck. This is the most polarizing vehicle to be revealed in the last 20 years. The South African-born Tesla CEO, Elon Musk, probably doesn't like the word conventional and has always gone against the grain when it comes to his products. This is why the Tesla Cybertruck looks like it was drawn using a ruler rather than ellipsis. The angular vehicle's exterior design is all straight lines, and there are no curves at all. But as more has been revealed, it does appear to have an incredible functional form. This could be the best truck performance metric to ever exist, with the insane engineering for design and manufacturing. One of the most impressive things about the Tesla Cybertruck is that it has a stress skin structure, also called an exoskeleton. We created an exoskeleton. The Cybertruck is obviously tougher than a regular truck. It is built with an exterior shell made for ultimate durability and passenger protection. The exoskeleton design would allow Tesla to put all of the Cybertruck's body to work structurally, avoiding carrying the body, the bed, and the battery pack as useless cargo. So normally the way that a truck is designed, you have a body on frame, you have a bed on frame, and the, the, the body and the bed don't do anything useful. They're, they're carried like cargo, like a sack of potatoes. It, it was the way that aircraft used to be designed, the, it, when they had biplanes, basically. The, the key to creating an effective monoplane was a stressed skin design. You, you move the stress to the outside skin. It allows you to do things that you can't do with a body on frame. So we're able to make the, the skin out of thick, ultra-hard stainless steel. Exoskeleton is designed to get rid of the requirements for internal longitudinal stiffening ribs because the structural skin would be doing all of the work. With that design, Tesla is getting rid of roof bows and door surrounds. In other words, Tesla uses an exoskeleton to make the Cybertruck as tough as a body-on-frame vehicle without the weight penalty. But it's not just the unibody construction. The outer shell, or the skin, is made from cold rolled stainless steel alloy. This material was developed in-house for Tesla's space program and provides additional stiffness while keeping curb weight low. So, Franz, Franz has a sledgehammer. Uh, uh, don't hold back. Okay. Hit it, hit it harder. Tesla claims this makes it bulletproof to 9mm rounds, but does not mention any armor rating certification. Elon Musk mentioned at the event that the electric pickup truck would require a high-pressure die-casting machine with a clamping force of 8,000 tons to create the rear body of the pickup truck because you've got a long truck bed that's going to support a lot of loads. The Cybertruck's active air suspension will be game-changing, as Musk says. In addition, the car has an adaptive uh, air suspension. A stiff suspension is needed to handle heavy loads, but is also detrimental to ride quality. Tesla plans to address this with an active air suspension system, which can self-level to account for a payload. So this will come standard on all the cars. I think this is actually a very important uh, design element um, because if you have a, a if, 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 every, if every truck has the ability to adjust the ride height, so you can go very low or very high, so you can be efficient on the highway, and you can, you can also go off-roading, um, it's gonna have uh, the highest clearance of any, any production truck. So we're gonna have a, 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 about a 16-inch clearance. Um, and uh, you can adjust this on the fly. So it's adaptive damping and, and adaptive uh, ride, ride height. These, these are actually extremely important for a truck. Raise and lower suspension four inches in either direction for easy access to Cybertruck or the Volt, while self-leveling capabilities adapt to any occasion and assist with every job. 
Active ride height and active damping are game changing for a truck or any car with a high maximum minimum weight ratio, Musk tweeted. Active suspension systems aren't unheard of in trucks. The Ram 1500 is already available with air suspension that includes a self-leveling feature, while the GMC Sierra 1500 Denali can adjust damper firmness on the fly depending on road conditions. As a little plus, because it's got an air suspension, we can tap off the air suspension so you have a, a, a pneumatic source. Musk also mentioned that the production Cybertruck's dimensions will differ slightly from the version unveiled to the public. Cybertruck is designed to have the utility of a truck with sports car performance. How does this uh, compare to uh, a Porsche 911? <laughs> okay, we're gonna give the Porsche a little bit of a head start. Yeah, this is a, this is a current, current edition Porsche. That this, and this is the actual truck, that, this is not CGI. Built to be single-motor rear-wheel drive or dual-motor all-wheel drive or tri-motor all-wheel drive to generate up to 800 horsepower and 1,000 pound-feet of torque, and it can accelerate from 0 to 60 in just 2.9 seconds, with a range that varies from 250 to 500 miles. It will tow up to 7,500 pounds in single-motor, 10,000 pounds in dual-motors, and up to 14,000 pounds in tri-motor, with 3,500 pounds of payload capacity. I mean, yeah, but it was uphill. Cybertruck will arrive later this year, or early 2022, with a starting price of 40 k Customers ordering now will be able to complete their configurations nearer to the start of production. The company also says that the cheaper, rear-wheel drive model will only be available in late 2022. That, that's the price without any incentives. That's just like the price without any incentives. Um, but the, the actual economics are even better than that uh, because the cost of electricity is much less than the cost of gasoline. So when you look at the actual cost of ownership here, uh, it's, it's, you know, you, you, you're paying uh, much less for electricity than you are for, for gasoline. You're paying much less for maintenance. There's no oil changes, no smog checks, no nothing, none of that stuff. Uh, so your maintenance is low, your cost of operations is low. Um, and so it's actually comparable to a, a truck, a gasoline truck that's ten to $15,000 less. To stay up to date with the latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.